Poor Rita. I know. Well, I suppose that's what happens when you invite Riffraff to live with you. Well, we don't actually know that Gemma did it. No, I suppose not. Hi, Rita. You all right? Surviving. Hey, that sister of yours is a live wire, isn't she? Oh, she certainly is. <laughs> she was in the shop the other day. The day I was murdered, actually. Hiya. Has Gemma owned up yet? No chance. You know, I don't think you're safe with her in the flat. Do you know, that's just what I've been thinking. Mm. Stir in the pot. Oh, like butter wouldn't melt. I didn't do nothing. No. <laughs> what are you there here for? Mrs. Tanner. Yes. You say you know who broke into your shop and stole money from your purse? Yeah. She's standing right there. Gemma Winter. How could you? I'd like you to come down to the station to answer a few questions. This is so out of order! What's going on? It's called justice. <laughs> Morning. Hi. Kate Connor. Work at Bistro. I live, um, here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you usually... Gone by now, I wasn't expecting to see you. Oh, it's a good job, be decent then. Have you seen her yet? Uh, no. Oh, I knocked on her door earlier. She must have left early. Well, I'll catch her later. Bye then. Okay. You could come out now. <laughs> Did she um, suspect? No. Well, you know, it's only a matter of time. Well, let's come clean and I've done with it now. <laughs> you know what I think? You get off on always creeping around. I do not. Mm, yeah. I think it turns you on. That is so not true. So what's this then? Luke, hey, Paul, can you let me in? Any chance of you getting in with... Oh, she said it would be... Look, have you got the keys to the tow truck? Sure. Yeah. Sorry to disturb you. It's just there's been a breakdown on the new relief road. Yeah, that's all right. Ah. See you later, then. Do you think he saw us? He was looking at me really strange. Hey, relax. Why would they think it was Gemma? Did Jenny report her? No, I did. What, you don't still... I'm not you? in the habit of lying, especially to police. Yeah, but why? Because I've racked my brains a thousand times. There is no other explanation. Look, I know she's a rough diamond, but her heart's in the right place. That's what I thought. But Jenny tells me she was bad-mouthing me to you yesterday. She can't have heard the full story then because she was singing your praises as well. Gemma thinks the world of you. I didn't do it lightly, Cathy. Believe me, I've been one of her biggest supporters. So you honestly believe, OK, that she would trash this place and take your money? I don't know whether it was her idea or a mate's put her up to it, but she was involved all right. Not a mate's, maybe, but there is no way that Gemma would ever do something like this. I would have said the same once upon a time, but unfortunately she's fooled you just as she did me. So, Kate didn't see you? No. Then what's the problem? Oh, it just doesn't feel right. What? Sleeping with him or hiding it from her? Um, we're not sleeping, sleeping. Oh, so you haven't... Look, we just share a bed and that's it. And you're happy with that? I'm not sure. Wait, is he? Well, he's been the perfect gentleman about it, so I can't really tell. Look, where do you want this to go? I don't know. I've only slept with one other man my whole life. And yet that was only once. The whole thing's just really taken me by surprise. I'm enjoying things the way that they are, but we can't stay like this forever. So what's stopping you? And then there's Kate. Yeah, she's always going on about how well we all get on. Oh, Kate won't mind. She's cool about things like that. And it's obviously doing your head in line to her. Look, work out what it is you want, then do it. Oh, and uh, while I've got you... Oh, yes, Gary. Hi, Liz, I'm here to pick up my certificate of health, please. Oh, yes. Yes, I remember. And I get stuck in the middle. So, you're for new travels, then? Uh, sort of, yeah. Anywhere nice? Uh, mind your own business, Liz. <laughs> ah. So a bit more there we go. Nice. Cheers. Are you listening? You're welcome. Hey, you've been to the doctor's? 
Uh, yeah, just picking something up for Izzy. Oh, he had me worried for a minute. Hey, I'm fit as a flea, mate. Apart from these. What time's your flight? Half five. Got to go. Lots to do. See you later. Yeah. Hello again. <laughs> Bit of all right, that flat mate of yours. Something going on between you two? No. Well, that's not how it looked to me this morning. Don't know what you're on about. You and Al here, eh? Kept that one quiet. You're not funny, you know. Yeah. I'm not disturbing you. Disturbing me? I was hoping you'd disturb me a lot sooner. Uh, Come in. Sorry. I've been slowed under at work and uh, I've been looking for a flat to buy. Don't mind me, just getting the rest of my stuff. Hope that chest of drawers is empty now. Don't push your luck. <laughs> Can I get you in here? No, no, I'm fine. I uh, wanted to ask you a favour, actually. Ask away. Oh, I've seen a flat that I like, and I'm going back later today for a second viewing. I wondered if you'd come with me. Be a pleasure. Yeah, just give it the once over. See if you think it's worth the price. I will be delighted. Thanks. Bit cheeky of me. Falling off the radar, then coming to ask you for something. Yeah, it is. But it's the lot of every parent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll pick your pran well. I will be ready and waiting with my surveyor's hat. <laughs> Bye, Todd. See ya. See ya. What? How long since you seen her? Over two weeks. Mm. One time, innit? Yeah. Or did you scare her off? I had considered it, yeah. First I stand her up, then I bombard her with phone calls, so... Right, well, maybe after this you should take your foot off the gas, hmm? It's not like there's any rush, is there? See ya. See ya. I still can't get on the agenda. Once a wrong and always a wrong and I say. My ear's burning again. But you, Mr Connor, you're perfect. Is that girl a pay rise? Backdated. I don't spoil it. Uh, just half, please, Sarah. Yeah, coming up. I have never liked the look of her. Oh, but she's turned her life around since Kylie died. Surely she won't want to go back to how she was. The scumbags like her can't help it. Thank you. Uh, Rita said that you were in the cabin the day she got robbed. Yeah, I was. Well, so I did it now. No, I'm not saying that. It's just other people round here, Mike. You have got a lot of bills to pay after all. Thanks for the vote of confidence, though. Well, a hundred quid, it's a lot of money. hundred pound? That's what got taken. So while the shop was being burgled... I was up in Rita's flat with her, so how could I have done it? You could have left the door open for your friends. I haven't got the key, only to the flat. From where she had a hundred pounds stolen from a purse. It wasn't me. Funny how they knew the code to the burglar alarm, though. It was on a post-it note on the fridge. They must have seen it when they were there with me before. So you never left Mrs Tanner's side all morning, all afternoon, all evening? Well, we're not super glued to each other. So you could have taken the key from a handbag, opened the door for your mates, gone back upstairs and put the key back without her realising. Yeah, and then gone and done a guest appearance on Loose Women and pulled Zayn Malik for afters. Why would I do anything to hurt Rita after all she's done for me? These two mates of yours, mate. What are their names, by the way? If you're not going to charge me, then I want to be released. It's no skin off their nose if they're innocent. Yeah, not much. Well, if you don't tell me, all that leaves is you. you. Keep saying how much Mrs Tanner means to you, and you'd do anything for her. I would. Then give me their names, Gemma. May I? Yeah, go on. Well, you don't look too happy. Anything to do with that lie that you told Sarah this morning? What lie? Well, I was in the medical centre and you asked for a certificate of health, but outside you said it was for Izzy. Do you want to listen to other people's conversations? I couldn't help but overhearing. I'm sorry, Gary, but I know you. You're not in any kind of trouble, are you? Why would I be in trouble? Well, I don't know, but something's eating you. And it might help to share it. We go back, don't we? She thinks I'm going to work in Hamburg with my dad. I'm actually going to the Ukraine to do some private security work, protecting VIPs and that. Is that dangerous? That's why I've not told her. 
What are the risks? Well, I'll put it this way. They've told me to sort a will out before I go. Are you mad? I want my eyeballs in debt. And this is the only way out. I've thought of everything, believe me. Yeah, but you'll be risking your life. I'll be fine. You don't believe that. I mean, I, who, who are these VIPs anyway? It must be dodgy for people to try to kill her. My dad came back from war and died at the end of the street. All oh, right, well, then you're laughing, aren't you? Until that PTSD you had after Afghanistan comes back. Oh, don't you mind going through all that again? What else can I do? You've got a family here to That's what I'm doing it for. Yeah, but if you get killed, they'll have nothing. What do they do then? I know what it's like to lose a father, and I don't think I'm ever going to get over that. For all their sakes, Gary, you need to pull out of this before it's too late. I opened it by mistake, sorry. Hey? Yeah, you might well look where it is. Ah, it's just Don's lawyer's getting heavy. Oh, trust! How much worse do you want it? You expecting something else? No. We could be out on the street if we don't sort this out. Yeah, I know we could. Oh, it's all right for you. You've got Sarah's to go and live at, but where are me and Jake gonna live? Can hardly afford that flat as it is. Yeah, which is why I'm going to Hamburg, is he? I don't see how this job on its own is gonna get us out of trouble. It'll pay more than I'm getting around here. Let's hope so. Tim! I need to book a taxi, mate. Yeah, no problem, went for. It's afternoon. Hey. Cheers. So you think I should buy it? I don't see why not. It's a decent conversion. You said that the windows were looking their age. Yeah, he's cut a few corners here and there. So I would offer him five grand less to reflect that. Yeah? Hmm. Yeah, other than that, she's sound. OK. Oh, don't forget, you're dealing directly with the developer. So there's no estate agents bumping the price up and creaming off their commission, OK? Wanna brew? Lovely. Well, thanks for doing that. Pleasure. So, what else have you been doing, apart from flat hunting and working? Uh, well, that has pretty much been my life for the past two weeks or so. I'm very happy you decided not to run a mile away from me. I was worried you might. Should I ask for guarantees with the flat? Now, timber guarantees are always a good idea. But how long for? Ten years is a minimum, 30 if you can get it. So your cook is brand new and so is your boiler, so they should be under warranty. I'm going to write this down. Surprised you haven't bought before, you know. I mean, obviously pay you well enough. Were you just waiting for Mr Wright to come along before you took the plunge? Well, who knows? <laughs> so how quickly should I make an offer? No, no point in delaying, is there? If it's what you really want, I would do it today. Two this morning. You are? I was there all set to have my cornflakes with you and you were gone. Uh, um, yeah, I, I had to work early. Mm, just ask my permission in future, OK? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the seating plan? Yeah. Thank goodness you only get wet half a dozen times in your life. I've not told you how I'm bringing yet. No, I've been losing sleep over this. I'd like Alia. OK. And Luke. That's two. Invitation says plus one. I know, but... This isn't some kind of menage a trois. No, we're just really good friends. And I can't take one without the other. And it's a double wedding. And it'll be double the expense, especially if they're both getting hammered at the bar. Well, Al, you doesn't drink, and I promise I'll take it easy. And I'd like to think I've, I've been there for you these past few months. Hmm. Go on, then, as it's you. Have you decided? I'm going to go. Look, I know where you're coming from. But right now... I've got such a bad feeling about this. It's not as dangerous as you think. <sighs> and honestly, the money that they're paying, I'll only have to go once, like a pair of most of my debts. I'd have to work for, like, a year to make that over here. At least speak to Sarah. Then she wouldn't let me go. But what I have done since speaking to you is I've written letters, all right? One for Izzy, Jake, Mum, Dad and Sarah. So if anything does happen, which it won't, 
Will you pass them on? Gary, this breaks my heart. It's just a precaution. Please. Thanks. Ah. Now, John said you'd be in here. Not more bad news. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Jake has made a card for Grandpa Eddie and he just wanted to make sure you gave it him. Of course I will. So, you all set? Yep. What time's your flight? Half five. Jake has been asking all about the plane you're going on. He is thrilled to bits. Well, once I'm back, we can all have a holiday. And you can go on, Mum. Well, let's pay off the debt first, eh? Naughty, naughty. Shh. <laughs> Ooh, a bit nice. Mmm. I have got a top that'll go just right with them. Oh, not too expensive either. Well, you only wear them a few times, don't you? Why pay more? <laughs> oh, what's this? Your card has been declined. Oh, have you put the right number in? Yeah, that's it. I don't get it. And there's definitely money in there? Yeah. Well, it we're only this dinner that I opened an account for that free vape stuff. Why would you need an account if they're free? Oh, no, they give you so many for free, then you have to pay. But before that, you cancel the account. This is a scam. No, don't say that. I've read about it. You haven't sent them your bank details. About half an hour ago. Then I'd call your bank now. Hey, Todd. Do you have custard donuts? Please. I'm not asking a favour, it's just a question. I know, but it's just polite. Do you have custard donuts, please? It does sound a bit weird. Okay, you win this time. Fathers and daughters, eh? Isn't life wonderful all of a sudden? <laughs> How'd it go? Oh, I, I think you're probably right about taking my foot off the gas. She seems to want to build her more than she wants a dad. <laughs> Oh, twice in one day. You be careful now. <laughs> I'm looking for Seb. You haven't seen him. I haven't. I thought he was with you. Oh, well. I'm sure he'll turn up. Oh, yeah, I offered on the flat, by the way. Huh? He didn't want to know. Five grand below the asking? Yeah, so there was lots of interest, and I could take it or leave it. Really? He almost laughed at me at one point. Mm. What's his name, this fella? Made me feel a bit stupid, actually. Um, Kempson. Rod Kempson. And he's based around here? Uh, yeah, Kempson Developments, Withenshaw. Mm. Oh, well. Guess this one's not meant to be. Go and have a cup of tea, look. Ticket, money. I'll just buy anything else when I get there. Well, you can't buy photos of me. No. All on my phone. Well, let's hope we've got lots. It's thousands. You have taken thousands. How do you know? Oh, is that sweet or creepy? Who well, set, mate? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming now. Me is running. All right. All right, my darling. Listen, safe journey. And keep your eyes off them foul lines. Yeah. And don't you worry, okay? Sarah. Hey, it's only ten days. Yeah. I'll see you soon, okay? You take care. I found it. What? You know that magazine you came in for the other day and I couldn't fathom where I put it? Oh, yeah. Under my nose all the time. Sorry about that. That's all right. Still, we got there in the end. 350, please. That is what you came in for. Oh, I heard Gemma got taken in for stealing from you. Oh, that's been a terrible business. Yeah. £100, right? 
you know, you think you know someone and them. Um... Yeah, only I just wanted to check. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the other day when I came in for this, yeah. uh, and I told you I was struggling to pay the bills. Yes, I remember. Yeah, and you very kindly lent me a hundred pound from your handbag. You haven't got your wires crossed, have you? Oh, you're here. I've been to your house looking for you. Me? We found this on the floor of the cafe, and I assume you are the Sarah it means? Gary was in earlier, so... Gary? Yeah, about dinner time, I think. Why might you not be coming back? What is it? Oh, I knew something was wrong. I saw him earlier, and he was coming out the medical centre, and I, he said he was fine, but then he was acting really shifty. Who do you think he's ill? And then before, when he was just going off to Hamburg, he was just acting really dramatic, like he might never see me again. Well, what do you think it is? I don't know. But I know I need to stop him getting on that plane. And we return to Coronation Street in half an hour. Gary, but isn't it usually VIPs that fly out of Windler? I told you I'm going to see my dad. Hamburg, that's usually Terminal 1, isn't it? You're not cadging a lift on Marino's private jet, are you? You can answer that. <laughs> Trust me, there's not glamorous about what I'm doing, all right? But if anyone asks, you drop me at T1, OK? Yeah, all right, you want me to lie for you. But you won't confide in me. I just don't want Sarah to worry. All right, now you've got to tell me. You see, I'm bound by the solemn vows I made to the CCC. The what? The uh, cab driver's confidentiality code. When you get in this cab, it's like you're stepping into confessional. You could be on your way to meet your bit on the side and I won't say help. Oh. No, you're not, are you? No, of course I'm not. I love Sarah. It's fair in the family I'm doing this. Doing what? Mm -hmm. I just think you're jealous. That's what I said. No, you have. Nicola. Give over. I'm happy for Pat meeting up with his long lost daughter. Whom he lavishes attention on. And he does. I mean, even I've had to warn him to cool it, Mum. That is a terrible thing to say. And she is not the reason that he's gone all moody. No, that's just the way he is. Anyway, someone's waiting for me. Hey. You all right, Sarah? No, Gary's gone off with him. Um, he's meant to be going to stay with Eddie, but there's no more flights today. I've checked. Uh, well, maybe he's taking uh, an indirect flight. Please, can you just get hold of Tim on the radio and just see where they are? Well, can you not just call him? He's not picking up. He's acting really weird when he left, and I've got this letter, but I'm not meant to have it. Like, not now, anyway. And he's just saying all this weird stuff about how much he loves me, but, like, he's never going to see me again. What? Why would he say that? I don't know. That's why I need to get hold of him. Well, uh, I'm uh, bound by the CCC. What? Steve? Um, it's a privacy thing, which I can override in times of emergency. <clears throat> base to Tim, base to Tim, are you receiving, over? Roger. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Tim, uh, we are running low on Jammy Dodgers, low on Jammy Dodgers, over. Yeah, Roger that, I'll get some on the way on. It's a code thing. He'll uh, know to delay the journey and uh, await further instructions. I'm gonna have to pull over, mate. To buy biscuits? No, I'm losing power. I think there's something wrong with the engine. What? Tim, I can't miss this flight. Hopefully, it's something I can fix. Yeah, fake care uh, breakdown deployed awaiting further instructions. <clears throat> Can you get me there or not? Two ticks, mate, two ticks. Well, I'm made now, eh? You can no end to your talent, shall we? No, I'm only uh, holding the fort for Sarah. She's had some emergency mm -hmm. to dash off to. Thanks, kid. What are you doing, eh? Early finish. You? Same. Tyrone's on to us. I mean, we did make it pretty obvious. Yeah, well, it'll be Kate next, you'll see. Yeah, well, the shifty way you were going on this morning, I bet she already knows. Rod Kempson? I'm Pat Phelan. It's my daughter that put that silly offer in on the flat. 
Can I get you a drink? I'm not stopping, unless you're offering the full asking price. No, we're going to offer exactly what it's worth. You'll either take it or you leave it. Hang on. Pat Phelan. Aren't you involved in that Calcutta Street development? The one that went belly up? That's right. My co-director did a runner. Apparently he's in South America now. Do you know, Rod? It's the one and only time I've been had. <sighs> Ouch. Yeah. Incidentally, cracking job you've done on them flats. Very, very smart. Thank you. It is reflected in the asking price. Yeah. Particularly like that uh, exposed brickwork, you know, on the chimney breast in the living room. Is that actual brick? It's a tile. Very effective. A lot cheaper, though, eh? It's a bit like the uh, oak flooring in the bedroom. But it's a laminate, isn't it? <laughs> in fact, there's more oak than that sheer has. Come on, Rod. What I'm saying is we're both members of the magic circle, aren't we? We both know all the little tricks to cut the corners. Come on. My daughter, she's a first-time buyer. No chain. Mortgage already sorted. What do you say? God, you think you've found them all, and, and, and then there's another. <sighs> They're everywhere. We'll be finding them for months. I'll oh, stick them in the bin. No, no, I'll put them back in the jar. We can call it aniseed brittle. No. Look, it's because of you I can't claim on the insurance, allowing that reprobate to move in. She is not a reprobate. Gemma did not steal the money. Have the police found the culprit? I lent the hundred pounds to Gina. Just slipped my mind. We still got broken into. We don't know that Gemma had anything to do with it. If I forgot who I lent the money to, I might have forgotten to lock the door. Oh, how could you? Well, damage is done now. Gemma's in a police cell, and I've got to go, and I've got to go and explain. I'm with you. Fished. Spoke to the bank. Oh, and? Card were declined, because the account's got no money in it. I mean, I wasn't loaded, but every penny's gone. Well, you'll get it back, won't you, if you're a victim of a scam? I feel like I've been mugged. We well, have, in a way. Cybercrime is massive. Read the papers. These people are very sophisticated. Yeah. And they prey on people who are gullible. Oh, Elizabeth, you really ought to be more careful. Now, come on, chop, chop. We can't stand around gossiping all day. Can't you see she's upset? Hmm. So what were you trying to buy? Just some new shoes. OK. How long ago was it? About half an hour. I hope you've learnt your lesson. Don't surf the internet when you're meant to be working. Come on, mate, I'm going to miss my flight. You don't even look like you're doing out. That's because I'm not. Steve's over in the CCC. Sorry. What? The cab driver's confidentiality code. It can be overridden in extreme circumstances, which Steve seems to think this is. Oh, cheers, mate. Where the hell are you going? What are you doing? I got your letter. Hey, how? Oh, it doesn't matter how. Well, you better start talking and fast. I've just had a call from Rod Kempson. Really? You don't know anything about it? No. What did he want? Well, he accepted my offer. The flat's mine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, in you, that case, you. yeah, 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 it was me. I work for the UN as a highly skilled negotiator. <laughs> right, well, the drinks are on me. What are you having? Same, same. again? Todd? Yeah, same as. <laughs> mm. What'd you say to him? I had no strong arm. I was just honest. Really? Yeah, really. You see, you don't always have to play dirty. You can get results by being nice. And if that doesn't work, play Daisy. No, oh, you see, you love playing the tough guy, but scratch the surface. There's actually a decent man underneath. I gave the letter to Alia to give to you. But only if something happened to me. Let me get this right. 
You told Alia what you were doing, but you didn't tell me. I couldn't say it, because I didn't want you to know. This is what I was trying to avoid. Are you even going to an airport? Yes, I'm going to Windlich, the private one. Because I'm going to the Ukraine. The Ukraine? My mate fixed me up with some security work there. It's too good to turn down. Oh, it's too good to tell me about. I didn't want you to worry. Oh, well done, Gary. That worked. It was just a worst-case scenario thing. Joe, who got me the gig, said that I should put my affairs in order before I leave. Just in case. Who's Joe? The guy that you saw me talking to. Look, where I'd be working, it's miles from any fighting. And they hire a lot of ex-military. So it is dangerous, then? Working on a building site's dangerous. What? So you're comparing that to this? Sarah, you know how skint I am. What does it say about our relationship if you can't confide in me? Normally I would. Oh, what? When it suits you? Look, I'll probably be guarding a factory or something. And I'll be back in ten days with a big fat check. Because unlike working on a building site here, my skills there are actually worth something. You see, Gary, that is the reason that you lied to me. Because you knew if you told me what you were doing, I'd say, no, you can't go. I have to go. What, so that I can lie there at night worrying about you? I'm not going to do it. You've had PTSD before. Look, if you go, that is it, we're finished. Accusations. No, I've come because I have made a terrible mistake. Excuse, excuse me, uh, I'm, I'm Rita Cabin. No, Rita Tanner from the Cabin Coronation Street. I have come to tell you, you are holding an innocent person. Okay. Well, they're racking up a lot of waiting time. Should we warn them? Turn the meter off. We're never going to make any money with you making the decisions, are we? There's something else you don't know. Oh, what? More lies? When I worked at Don's house, I should have taken out insurance. I owe him thousands. He's threatening legal action. Well, we can... We can take out a bank loan. I can raid my savings account. Anything. It's, it's one short contract. One short contract and we're sorted. Nothing more to say than is there. Sarah. Look, is this car working or not? Yeah. So let's get a move on. Lending Gina that money now. Clear as day. It just slipped my mind. We all forget things. It's a accused Gemma. I know. I don't believe she had anything to do with the burglary. What's that funny taste? Freedom! What do we want? Justice for Gem! When do we want it? Now! <laughs> you sound like you've been on Robin Island for 25 years. <laughs> Well, when you've been locked up for a crime you didn't commit, had the finger pointed at you by someone you thought you could trust. Well, you're in familiar surroundings. Did they give you an old room? I won't be out for long if you don't shut up. <sighs> She's every right to be angry. I accused her of stealing money, breaking into the cabin. I'd lent that money to Gina. We should never have pointed the finger at me in the first place. It was a, a simple mistake, and there's, there's no harm done. No harm done? Me and Rita's friendship is smashed to smithereens. It was a genuine mistake, love. And I hope in time you'll see that. Where are you taking me? Your room, my room, I don't care. There's no rush. Oh, what am I, that irresistible? Oh, you're gorgeous and I can't wait for us to, but only when you're ready. I'm ready. Uh, 
I hope this isn't what I think it is. Can't believe you fell for it. Oh, you're as bad as Moira. All she did was have a go at me for using the internet in office hours. Oh, sounds like somebody else I knew. Moira has got a point, though. Oh, here we go. Well, you've got to be careful who you give your bank details to. It seemed completely legit. I saw the leaflet, I sent an email, I got a nice reply. Well, of course you got a nice reply. They were just about to screw you out of a load of money. Steve, you're making her feel worse. Good. Maybe next time she won't be so gullible. Have you still got this leaflet? Yeah, somewhere. Where'd you get that? Notice board in the medical centre. See, I immediately know that's dodgy. Oh, well, yes, of course. You wouldn't fall for anything so stupid. It's funny, really. You'd assume if they put anything up at the medical centre, it's likely to be OK. Yeah, well, I'm going to find out who it was. And when I do, they are dead. It's awful to think there's someone going round Weatherfield conning innocent people. What, like Vinnie conned you or Tony nearly conned me? Mm. Scary. You think you know people. I don't know why you're so angry. We really like each other. You lied to me. You told me that nothing was going on. You promised me you'd keep your filthy hands off her. All right, and what if I can't keep my filthy hands off him? We're both free agents. What's the problem? You're not free agents when you're sharing a flat with me. I don't want to walk in and see you doing this. We thought you were out. You want to go out or come back? I'm sorry. It's not on. Right, so you're saying we can't see each other? Not for sharing a flat. I feel like I'm in the way, like I do now. We're all grown-ups. I don't want to watch you slobbering all over each other when I watch the telly. Look, I get it, but we're all still going to be able to hang out. Worse, when you break up, I'm going to force to take sides. No, because you'll be on my side. Anyway, who, who says we're going to break up? Oh, you will. Look, we're not rushing things. We're taking our time and we really like each other. Are we meant to pass up on something that could be really good? I want you both to be happy. Really. Just not with each other. It changes everything. You know it does. Well, all I could think about when I was being grilled by the cops, apart from that Zoe and Roxy are going to kill me when they find out that I dobbed him in, I just kept thinking, it don't matter how hard I try to make something of my life, you think I'm a low life, and you always will. No. I made a mistake. I know how hard it's been for you to turn your life around. Especially with some of your pals trying to lead you astray. So, I've got no willpower, yeah? I'm a sheep. See, this just proves what I'm saying. You think that I can't be trusted. Either that or you're losing your marbles. Don't speak to me like that. If you can't keep a civil tongue in red, maybe you should think about moving out. Right then, I will. Right then. I'll pack my bags. Do that. Hey. <sighs> Flying visit on the bright side. Chocolate eclair is one special offer. <laughs> oh, love there. How did you manage? Well, I'm not sure I'm ready to give up the day job. Thank you. Did you get what you went for? Nope. 
Hiya. You heard of uh, Gary? Has he reached his dad yet? I wish my hands had been. You haven't. I'll, uh, I'll see you later. See you. He's not going to see Eddie. The whole thing is just lies. Well, where's he gone? You know what, Izzy? I think you've got a right to know as much for Jake's sake as anything else. Cheeky cow. It's not to her if we want to go out. Who does she think she is? I kind of get what she means. It is weird for her, but at the same time, I like you. He's taken a stupid, potentially very dangerous job out in the Ukraine, um, working for this security team that some ex-army mate of his has sorted out for him. I knew he was in debt, but I didn't realise he was that desperate for work. So you knew? Because Only that Don was chasing him for money. You didn't. I don't think either of us would have known anything if he could have helped it, but, um... I got given this. How have you got one? Because Shona found it and she gave it to me. And why wouldn't she? Because she wasn't in on Gary's secret. Why didn't you tell me? I was in a difficult position. So you thought, I know, I'll just let him put his life in danger. If you'd have told me in the beginning, I might have been able to talk him out of it. It's not her fault. If there's anybody we should blame, we should blame Gary. Oh, I do. But if anything happens to him, I'll be blaming her as well. Do you know, if I was having my final meal on death row, I'm sure there'd be a big queue of people waiting to give me the lethal injection. I think I would actually have a chocolate clear. Mmm. My mum used to get them from the post shop if there was a few extra quid in my dad's wages. Like a status symbol when you're a kid, you know? In some way, they give me a taste for the good things in life. Unfortunately, I soon discovered it was easier to get the good things in life by doing the bad things. Mm. But I find myself at that crossroads. I'm reviewing this situation, as Fagan would say. You remember that film, Oliver? <laughs> Make the people who care about me proud. If I go right. Well, we all know where that leads. Mm. Problems, problems, problems. Ah, wait! variety of viewing for you coming up it's fancy dress at the Solana Resort next tonight comedy with Ben Adorm here on ITV film time over on ITV2 next with The Expendables and things get creepy in Whitechapel over on ITV Encore next Post it at your yard, delivering this. Bye, love. See you later. No, I don't want a breed, sir. I'll die of thirst instead. It's a present for Eileen. I've got to hide it in the van. Oh, no. Did I blow it? Is it a birthday? No. Hey, one can buy his wife a present without it being a birthday. See, under that gruff exterior, there is a kind and generous man who would love to come and have another look at my bathroom. Help me decide what to do. When? Now. Not in where till dinner. I've got a customer I've got to see. Oh, please. An hour won't kill them, will it, Patrick? Let's hope not, eh, love? Get in. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a fair on in town. You can send Hope and Ruby behind candy floss. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm not sure about the forecast. Um, shall I check? Actually, could you just nip to the factory and fetch him for me? If he said they'd be there, I want to work out what's on telly for him. This is why I said you should have him at Fizzy's, where all the toys are. You can't just sit him in front of the telly again. Uh, no, it's only while I figure out what we're doing. Go up to the fair chairs. It'll do you some good and all. It's about time you had some fun again. And me and you can go later as well if you want. I love a good waltz for me, you know. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah? Right. Brace yourself, because I'm going to go and get them. Scream if you want to go faster. <laughs> See you in a bit. See ya. Yes, hi, but well, we've got some uh, string in stock at the cabin. Excellent. I'll pay for it out of the two pounds from Bethany's scratch card. <laughs> It was so sweet of her to thank me for my support. You know, she shouldn't have. <laughs> yes, two pounds should cover it. What's it for? I tang these. <laughs> I've never had so many greeting cards from well-wishers since Fran teleported my chair away during double maths and broke my coccyx. <laughs> uh, engagement cards? Well, uh, who, who, who from? Uh, mother, my friends Zara and Stuart, who parked either side of me in their motorhomes one summer, and Sheena, who ran the site. But they're all in your handwriting, Mary. Yes, but they are from people who would have sent me cards if I'd been allowed to tell them I was engaged. Oh, I see. <laughs> we'll hang them above the fireplace for when my dude gets here. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. This is a puppet-making workshop at the community centre. All the fair. Channel your inner creativity through inanimate objects. I'll go to the fair. Mm. Ah, this one's my you. Is it the fair? No, it's one for me, actually. This is a workshop on boxing up teenagers and storing them in the what? Hey, you're right, Sinead. I'll tell you what, somewhere. Here's an idea. How about work experience at the factory? Ah, you're looking for stuff to do today. Mm. Ches has got the girls. I told him there was a fair on at the rep. Mm. No, serious. That sounds fun. Hey, this looks good. Puppet making. Do you need this? No. Don't you like fairgrounds? Oh, I love them. I just want to be able to tell Billy we did summer educational. Then we'll tell Billy we did summer educational, duh. Hey, bet I can win as a goldfish. <laughs> Hiya, Ches. There's a puppet making workshop on. I reckon the girls will love it, you know. It's on at half one at the community centre. It's only a fiver. But you're probably already out and about anyway. At the fair, I hope. Text me a selfie on the carousel. See ya. They look lovely hung up the cards. Dude'll see them and know that this wedding is bona fide. But it's not bona fide, it's bogus fide. Oh, do some deep breathing exercises, Norris. <laughs> if you're this anxious when Jude gets here. I, I, I don't see why we can't abandon this whole thing. We were getting married for the competition. And we entered the competition so you could see Jude, and now you're going to see him. Well, my son and his wife have travelled a long way. For me, for us. It'd break my heart if Jude felt he'd been brought here under false pretenses. Yeah, but surely, if, if he feels our intentions to marry were genuine, we could just say we've had second thoughts or fallen out. Fallen out? Oh, that, to me, is more deceptive than getting married is. More? Yes. I know marriages with less warmth than our friendship oh. and friendships that far outlast some marriages. I mean, why is romance seen as the most important type of love? I see no shame in celebrating our union, nor my son and grandson witnessing it. Oh, embrace it, Norris, please. Celebrate with me. Mm. If we both believe it's the truth, then it will be so. <laughs> Thank you, Roy. So, showers or baths? Uh, showers every day, baths are a treat. Sunday night, a glass of wine. OK, well, squeeze in the largest shower tray you can, all right? That's your homework, won't you surprise them? I gotta go. I'll have another cuppa. Mm -hmm. You've got a shift to get to as well, haven't you? Yeah. Boring. I know. See ya. Bye. Thought I'd seen you come in. What are you doing in here? I thought you might buy me a cake. Buy it yourself, out your robins. Mm, robins. I know it was you, Rob Rita's shop. 
I got the blame for it, you know. Been keeping on Yasmin's blooming sofa, thanks to you. Why don't you just admit it? Funny, not the only one asking about that robbery. Please pop by for a chinwag. Nothing to do with me. Someone must have said something. You calling me a grass? No way. No way, Roy! Roy! Either my eyes have gone wonky or I've just won six grand. I oh. said, so are you calling me a grass? Yeah. So watch your back. You watch yours, yeah, thief. So, so, what am I looking at? Right, three little money bags and the prize is what's in the box. So, six grand. Will you check it, cos I'm, I'm never lucky? Right, uh, money bag, uh, chest, money bag, gold bar, horseshoe, money bag, yeah, three, three money bags, yes. Six grand! <laughs> oh, don't! Hiya, Maka. Never gonna guess what. <laughs> Clayton's man. Just won six grand on a scratchy. Swear down. Yeah. It's deaf I were. I've met her. She didn't recognise me though. Nah. She's not cashed it in or out. Not yet. Thought you'd find that interesting. Gotta go. See ya, Grassa. It wasn't me, right? We tell rocks, you know! Little Prezi. Specifically, a Tyrannosaurus Rex or a butterfly. Let's see what they have at the workshop, yeah? So long as they don't let Ruby have scissors, because last time she had scissors, she nearly cut her finger right off and there was blood everywhere. <laughs> Uncle Chesney, are you OK? Just, just wait a sec. Everything I've done for you. How long have you been planning this? I asked you a question. What else am I going to do, eh? What would you do? I'll tell you what I wouldn't do. I wouldn't take us right back to square one. Right back to me wondering why I don't just do the sensible thing, make life easier for myself and just kill you like I should have done in the first place. But you didn't do it, did you? No, because I thought you'd calm down. I thought you'd accept it. OK, it's not exactly the Ritz, but it's got to be better than the alternative, hasn't it? Is it, though? I know you don't want to die, Andy, and I don't want to kill you. 
But we are really running out of options here. Oh, Andy, why couldn't you have just died all those months ago in that fight we had, eh? That would have been fair dues, wouldn't it? One on one, I win, you're dead. But no, not you. You gotta pull through. Hey. Hey. Where did you get this? I gotta admit, though, you almost had me going. <laughs> Getting back into your writing. Oh, Pat, can I have a new mattress for me so back? Hey. Requesting reader material, mental peace and tranquility. I thought, well, lifers, I mean, they have to find a way to cope, don't they? So maybe this is what he's doing. Settling down for the long haul till we find a solution, which doesn't mean you dead or me and Nick or both. But no, it was all just trickery, though, wasn't it? Aye. All just tricks and lies. Do you know one thing I hate? I mean, really, really, really hate is being taken for a mug. What are you going to do? Oh. <laughs> do not worry about what you imagine will happen. Focus on the now and the future will take care of itself. Is it free nicotine patches? Oh, yeah, although it was vapes last time. Oh, but you see, but you see it, it, it's undated. Rita and I always put the dates on the back of these and leave them up for two to three weeks or, or until it runs out. But, you see, but well, there's no authorisation. This... Well, it, is. it seems to be rogue. Well, it's definitely him. Yeah. Although it is a different email address. Well, it's easy enough to set up a new email address. Yeah, of course it is. Why didn't I think of that? Oh. Can I keep this? Oh, yeah, yeah, feel free. At risk it stays in the obvious. Tangling with this scammer is a really, really bad idea. I mean, beyond bad, borderline idiotic. It's £1.60 for that card you're waving about, if you're buying it. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing, Ran. Patrick around. I think I left my phone in his van. Not sure where he's working, love. Have you tried ringing him? Uh, I think I left my phone in his van. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll try for you. <laughs> you know, I'm half thinking he's got another woman. I'll give over. Yeah, I know it's my default. Last time it turned out to be you. Well, oh, <laughs> maybe a long lost son this time. Definitely a woman. Watching what he eats, disappearing all the time. He legged it after there was a knock on the door and I heard a woman's voice. Mm. Mm. Switched off, love. Uh, that was me at your door. Don't cover for him, cos if it were you, he would have invited you in. Well, I was dragging him off to see my new flat. Mm. Nothing comes between Pat and his first couple of the day. Stop fretting. He adores you. Right, if you see him before I do, tell him to check his van for my phone. <laughs> You know, I've never really felt the urge to look after anyone before. And if I'm honest, I never really trusted anyone that said that's what they like to do, you know, to help people, to look after people. Oh, so, nah. We are inherently selfish animals. But, I have to admit, I think I understand it now. Because of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, mate. Because of my daughter, Nicola. Although some of it is rubbing off on you. I mean, look. Spinach, linseeds, salmon. You're eating better than me. Or you would be, if you would just tell me where you got that cord from. Why keep me healthy to rot in here? Fair question. OK. When I watched Michael, your not dad dying, I didn't feel anything. I mean, like nothing. I mean, 
His ticker was knackered. I just had the privilege of being there when it came up, right? But then two or three nights later, I woke up in this cold sweat. I dreamt I was falling down this cave, this deep cave, and I was falling, 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 falling. This heat was rising. Going to hell? No, I think it was somewhere in the peaks, but it wasn't nice. And I wondered, I wondered if I'd kind of, I don't know, internalised something. Because after all, it was only you and Gail, Rod. Well, I was going to miss Michael, wasn't I? Did anyone miss me? Say again? Has anyone missed me? Honestly? I don't think so. I hope Steph does. Sometimes. I try not to think about her and then suddenly she comes into my mind and I wonder, is that her thinking about me? Did she ever forgive me? What are we gonna do, Andy? You asked me before what I would do if I was you. What would you do if you were me? I'd let me go. <laughs> That's not helpful, because you haven't thought that through, have you? Because out you would go and tell the police. <laughs> Why would you not believe me? I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. And then I would lose my liberty just when I think I'm the happiest I've ever been. I swear I'll tell no one. I'll, I'll move abroad, I'll change my name, whatever you want. Oh, well. That's all right then, isn't it? Problem solved. Let's get them chains off you. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Oh. That's where you got it. The edging around the mattress. Oh. Oh, and you've been after them springs and all, haven't you? What was that for? Another weapon? Patrick Phelan, you utter, utter idiot. Oh, Pat, I need a sprung mattress for me back. Oh, you made a right Charlie out of me. You! You! Guys, you're going to be so sorry. You're so sorry you're going to be. Here we go. She's gone to get crisps. Oh, a buffet and all. Yeah, this is on me, not the scratch card. Well, till I've decided what to do with the money. You know, oh. Bethany won't take a penny off me. Somewhere will you uh, shift that there so Shauna can sit down? Call her by her name. Mm. Just move it. Why? What's she called? What's she called, Todd? Just shift it. Go on, Todd. What's her name? Fine. Will you shift Swatley so Shauna can sit down? Swatley? Summer wins and Todd loses, yay. Couldn't even win a goldfish, loser. Hey, I tell you, no, this is a game of luck, not skill, you. <laughs> to being lucky. To being lucky. <laughs> um, I need to, I, I won't be long. <laughs> Look, we, 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 we could call it off, you know. We really could. Just, just say the word. No, no, I, I feel like Dorothy arriving at us. Except I don't want to click my heels and go home. I want to stay in this little bubble forever. <laughs> Jude! <laughs> oh, sorry, we're a bit late, Mum. There's a delay at baggage reclaim and a problem about the car hire. I take it I'm behind the baby in the queue for a hug. Oh, hello. Uh, Can I just give you that? Uh, Thanks. Right. Spilt coffee all in the foot. Wow, and they brought oh, one of yeah. the pair of shoes. Uh, 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 Pretty quickly. Last minute this wedding, wasn't it? <laughs> well, you don't need to tell me that. Oh, sorry, I thought you were Norris. Well, I, I, I am Norris. Oh, well, it's not really last minute for you, is it? You're the... Oh, no. And when I said short notice, I, I didn't mean for me, per se. Just... Angie? <laughs> Hi, Mary, mother of Jude. Oh. <laughs> oh, it sounds a bit religious when I say that. Oh, and you've met you. Norris, my, my mm -hmm. husband to be on, on, on Friday. <laughs> you got that on the diary, Norris? Sounds like it's just sunk in for you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to carry him in for me? Yes. Hello, my grandson. Hello. Go in, go in, the kettle's on. <laughs> what did you say to her? Not nothing. Please, Norris. I want today to be perfect. 
Hello, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait, wait, please, Pat. Yeah, this is what you get. Let go! Get off it, please! Get off! It wasn't planned, any of it. My, my, my back had been hurting and I needed the mattress and the painkillers. Will you bring the phone on back so to sleep on? Sleep? You don't need to worry about sleep. You've got a big sleep coming to you. I'm sorry, Pat, I'm sorry! Just need to get out of here. Need to get out. Need to get out. You've not offered me a drink yet. I told you I've got notes to say to you. I'm hearing you've won the lottery. No. Liar. A few quid on a scratch card. A few quid? You've changed. A few grand more like. I've got eyes everywhere. That money's for Clayton, so you can keep your filthy hands off. It's Clayton I'm thinking of. A couple of lads I know have used a lawyer. Specialises in escapes. Let's call him Udine. Clayton's guilty. He's serving his time. <laughs> what sort of a mum are you? If I was to tell you, Houdini might be able to find a way out for him. Isn't it your job to try it? Where are you going with that? Oh. Coronation Street continues in half an hour. Yeah, 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 I was just gonna. Is it on its way out or in? Oh, this. Yeah. Oh, no, I was just. Oh my God. Finishing what? What have you done? That needs stitches. No, 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 it's okay. It's nothing. Well, have you got a first aid kit? No. It... Nicola, what are you doing here? I left my phone in your van, but I have a tracker app and I needed it. So, bingo. Now, why haven't you got a first aid kit? I have love. It's at the yard. Well, what use is that? This is the house you're working on? Yeah. But, um... Right, I'll get some clean water to clean that cut. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going there. It's a death trap. All the water's contaminated. Mm. Listen, love, I'm going to be home in a bit. I've just got to take this mattress to the tip. What? It's virtually new. It's not damp. I know a couple of shelters that are crying out for mattresses. OK, fine. I'll just lock up here and then um, I'll put the mattress in the van. You better had to. Otherwise, I am coming back for it. <laughs> right. See it yours. See in a bit, love. Can't let anyone have out, can you? This isn't about me, love. This is about your son. Do something for him for once. I have tried all of his life. But either you or his mates or his pointless dad. Blame everyone else. I blame me. I've always blamed me. This money is for Clayton, and it's going to be waiting for him when he gets out. And so will I, whether he wants me or not. Great, if he makes it to the end of his sentence. Meaning? He's not coping. Every morning he wakes up, wishes he hadn't. You're a liar. He's terrified about being moved to the adult Nick. Doesn't want to be around for it. No, you're making it up. You wish. What if our Mr. Houdini is Clayton's only shout? Only way he gets to live long enough to have a pint in a pub backyard buy his ma a crimbo card, give her a grandkid. Six Gs could go a long way, if you really cared. My name is Sophia Shepa, and now I am a princess. Hello, my name right. is Gala. I'll start the music, and then Ruby, you bring on your space man, yeah? I'll go first. Can I do the gut? Yes. Oh! Oh! What's all this? Puppet? Go away! Are we having a show? Not till everyone's here. We need a little bit longer. Oh, right. All right. Okay. Right. I won't. Well, we'll go Come in the on. kitchen now. I'll put kettle on. We'll wait for Auntie Beth and Uncle Kirk to get here. Okay. Oh. 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 Oh.
Well, we seem like happy campers now, eh? Mm. Yes, actually, we've got a bit of There we go. Thank you. Oh, sorry. This is where we get up in the cakes. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, yes! Mary, is this your family? Yes. Uh, this is my son, Jude, his wife, Angie, and this little bundle of joy is my grandson, George. Oh, oh. This is Audrey. Oh, let's have a look at him. Hello, I'm Yasmin. <laughs> Are you here Hi. for the wedding on Friday? Mm, yeah. yeah. And will you be there? Oh, we're, we're hoping to keep it very intimate. If a bit sudden, to be honest. She's caught us all unawares. The last I knew, she was fending off Brendan, the extraterrestrial. Who? <laughs> oh, no one. She's teasing. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope we can raise a glass to the both of you before too long. Of course. We've got the rest of our lives to celebrate a long and happy marriage together. <laughs> Haven't we, Norris? Norris? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it can't be possible, can it, to just get someone off if you pay enough? But Clayton's bang to rights. That macker, he's trying to get his hands on your winnings, Houdini, my eye. Yeah, but what about Clayton? What if he's not coping? Well, that's a separate matter. It's no, you should talk to Todd. He'll know all about legal diving. Oh, diving. oh, Lord, are you OK? Don't you start. I've just had this one dying to get a sewing kit out. I'm fine. What happened? It's just a scratch. Look. A scratch? They'll be asking for blood donations to get some kitchen roll. How did it happen? He smacked his head in the house of horrors. <sighs> Your imagination, you don't get that from me. What house of horrors? My mate's doing a conversion, OK? It's, oh, is that surgical spirit? But it needs cleaning. No, 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 I know something about surgical spirit really hurts. Oh, let me do it. No, you're enjoying this far too much. So, are you going to take the mattress to the shelter? Love, it wants binning. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow! Oh. It wants donating. Oh, well, she gets the sadism from you, that's for sure. <laughs> shelter. OK, 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 OK. All right, but on one condition. From now on, you leave me alone at work. If you get a first aid kit. It's a deal, it's a deal, it's a deal. Oh, 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 That almost medicinal. <laughs> Boo! Who oh, are Looking at something filthy, are you, Liz Bomb? No. I'm fishing. Huh? Computer fishing. Look, this is the same bloke who was scamming with them vapes. He even signs off with the same name, Lenny Schnitzer. So I'm trying to lure him into correspondence. And then... <laughs> You are. So much for nipping out for staples. Yeah, I, uh, well, obviously I thought it'd be cheaper online. And then I had problems with the computer, so I'm using my laptop. Put you the hang of our computers now, Elizabeth. Oh. Should I get my niece to come and give you a one to one? We well, have to be after school hours, though, because um, she's only eight. I'm sure I can sort her. Hmm. Station then. Oh, fair enough. Take me to the rocket. I will. Oh. And they live happily ever after. Is it alive, the girl? <laughs> it's a puppet, Kurt. I know, but I thought you said it was a ghost story. Ghost story! <laughs> ghost story! Honestly, Kurt, we can't take him anywhere. Right, come on, you two. Out of Uncle Chesney's hair. He's had you long enough. We'll take Thank you on to your dad. Good girl. Bye. Ches, when I've settled him, can I buy you a pan? No, no, I'm fine, honest. I wouldn't mind a swift one. I'm in. You need to sort me through the story again now. I know that goat wasn't dead. Girls. No, no, I'll clear up. You, you go, Sinead. You've all had work today, honestly. Uh, right, well, as long as you promise to join us after, yeah? When I've cleared up. Yes. All right, great. Girls, wait! Say thank you! They said thank you, didn't they? Thank you. See? Yeah. Right, you glad you went to the workshop now. It's a standard single mattress, a three-footer. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, we think he's three foot. No, it's not in the tank yet, but um, it's good as new. I can bring it in and Okay, don't be mad, but they thought it was new. They don't actually take used mattresses. It's going to the tip. Uh, but she does know somebody that does take them, so I thought it might be a good idea. I said no! Stuff your bleeding heart, liberals. We've got things to do. Right. OK, well, far be it from you to put yourself out for the sake of disadvantaged people. Whatever. You know, some people have nothing. Sometimes just a gesture, just a bit of kindness makes all the difference. I really don't know you at all, do I? did was use it as a weapon to bop Summer over the head with. <laughs> Years since I've done any teddy maintenance for you. Don't get nostalgic, Mother. Mm. Remember to lie to you, say, Mr Bear's gone on holiday so I could throw him in the washer. <laughs> and now we're talking about dodgy lawyers and prison. Now time flies, eh? Mm. Oh, here she is. I filled him in about matter, so come on. Look, you can't pop someone out of prison because you're a dodgy brief, all right? Even a downgrade to manslaughter would be a massive long shot. See? But what I was going to say is that some lawyers specialise in technicalities. What does that mean? Well, some people aren't convicted by what they've done. They get convicted by what the law thinks about what they've done and the evidence presented in court. You know, sometimes there's a loophole nobody's noticed. So Mac is right. This lawyer could get Clayton out. Well, I'm saying it's not impossible, but it's, it's really highly unlikely. And it cost a fortune. And, you know, factoring that you and him would be on the run from David Platt forever. That ain't cheap. This is all you, this. All your fault. Every time I'm moving on, getting things right, you drag me back to this, someone I don't want to be. You can move on. Pat, you, you can make this stop. Just let me go. How come you're the one chained up in here, but I feel trapped? You know what, Andy? I don't see any way out of this. There's only one option. And we both know it. She'd know. Yeah, yeah. Your daughter. Yeah, yeah. Michael haunted you. Imagine if you kill me. She, she will look you in the eyes and she will know. If I can feel Steph thinking about me, if that's the way I feel, imagine you and her. You've got a connection already. You, you've changed since she turned up. When you first told me about her, you nearly cried, you did. <laughs> I just want this to stop. It needs to end now. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Pa? I'm going to leave you to have a long think about what you did today. A long think? How long? How, how long? How long are you leaving me for? Maybe his battery's died. Yeah. Or oh, more like he's fell asleep eh, after my girls are running ragged. <laughs> oh, how much did he say it was? The workshop I didn't pay him. Uh, I think it was a fiver including materials. What? A couple of Pokemon winners and some stray. Sounds like a rip-off to me. Maybe it was a fiver between them. Yeah, but you pay for the teaching, not just the materials. No, but maybe we were really good in that puppet show, weren't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll ask you, me. What can I get you? I loved it. It reminded me of me and Maria at the kennels, making up stories for the dogs. I used to love playing huskies. 
Marie was more a shih tzu kind of girl. <laughs> he phoned to book the girls in, but he didn't turn up. Listen, let me know the next time it's on, because Lily would love it. Maybe Chesney took them to a different workshop. Yeah. Sinead? Yeah. Ches said the workshop was at the community centre, yeah? Yeah. Why? They never showed up. I wasn't asleep. I can tell when you're pretending. I didn't feel like the pub. I'm just knackered. Mm. That workshop took it out, you did it? Everything did. Except the workshop, though. Because you didn't go, did you? Why lie to me? I didn't. You just assumed. Then why let me? So I didn't go. Big deal. I mean, why pay for something I can do just as well here? I was worried, that's all. Have you even left the house at all today? Well, you have a next time, then. And stick a machine on the door so I have to clock in and out. Put that down and sit. Oi! If I wanted to be ignored, I'd go home. Mm. You see, what I can't get me head round is it must be someone nearby. Well, and that's good enough reason to quit this Juliet Bravo nonsense, put it down to experience, and move on. Starting right now. Might be Steve. Since when have you jumped up to listen to anything that Steve's got to say? And besides, that wasn't a message, that was an email. I know your pings. You'll listen to what I've got to say, won't you? Yes, of course, Will. Thank you very much, Rover. <laughs> What's so funny? No. He's quite witty. We're bantering. <laughs> I asked him, what's the difference between buying a nicotine patch and sticking a roll up on your arm with a plaster? And what did he reply? Dignity. Well, your dignity's going right down the swanee at the moment, Liz. Liz. I, I, you're sure you won't stay for some home cooking? I mean, I can rustle up a one pot in a jiffy. <laughs> Thanks, but we need to check into the hotel. Get George set Well, you could have stayed here, save yourself some pennies. <laughs> it's been a long day. Well, exactly. And now you have to drive all the way to the hotel. Yeah, but that was a choice, Mary. We should be visiting my family, if anything. Just need a bit of space for George. Yes, yes. Oh, it's such a shame. <laughs> oh, not one to let something go, is she? <laughs> Anything to spend more time with Jude and George, eh? Oh, yes. I, uh, I brought you this. Hope it's not a bit crass giving you a photo of me. Oh, look, Norris. Huh? Baby Jude. <laughs> it's. It's lovely, thank you. I wanted to. Well, can I ask you, and please say yes, but would you walk me down the aisle on Friday? Really? Really. Utterly really. I'd be honoured. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> now, text me when you get to the hotel. <laughs> You'll sneak out of the weekend, though, Faye. I want to see you. Seb. Hey, look, I'll, I'll, I'll call you back. You knew Clayton when you were inside. You what? You knew Clayton. So? Oh, well, how was he? What do you mean? Well, did he ever seem upset or...? Are you kidding? Never let people see that. Get slaughtered. 
There was support, though, wasn't there, if you needed it? Hey, what are you after? Right, I don't know how, OK? I kept out his way. Look, I'm so... Look at that, I don't like thinking about it, right? Please still freaks me out. Hi, it's Shona Ramsey, Clayton Hibbs' mum. Um, I'd like to arrange a visit... ..tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I'll hold. It's to thank him for his help this morning. Yes. Tell him I can uh, manage on my own now. Oh, you've not fallen out. I've been trying to ring you, love. Has your phone gone on your wall again? Yeah, I've got to go. Please. Let me apologise. I was completely out of order. Out of order? Him? No. Aren't you supposed to go to Swatley back to summer? Yes. OK. Saying a night, Swatley. Good night, family narky pants. I'd heard you got a bad side, but I've never seen you like that. Listen, I think that knock on the head affected me more than I realised. Oh. There. A receipt? Yeah. A receipt for three brand-new mattresses bought and paid for and donated to the shelter. I don't take that kind of talk, even from my bad lads. No, but it's a bark. It's not a bite. I mean, it happens when it gets... Ask Eileen. Oh, all the stuff I've had to put up with. You stay and have a drink, does it? Yeah, of course you will. I'm going out and open it. Don't ever kick off at me like that again. Cross my heart. You, know, you can carry on working with your mate if you're going to come home flush. Hmm? Your mate? Who are you doing with the house? Where is he? Let's not talk about that now. I've clocked off. Oh. <clears throat> hey, I am really, really sorry. I've had a temper in the past, I know, and it's something I'm not proud of. But every day, Every day, I'm trying to be a better man. I really am. And you coming into my life has just made me more determined to not let anything get in the way of that. I mean, anything. My name is Andy Carver. That feeling has me hostage. My name is Andy Carver. That feeling has me asking. <laughs> My name is Andy Carver. <laughs> that feeling has me asking. and lows of training to be an airline pilot in EasyJet inside the cockpit next. And Robson Green and James Norton star in Grandchester. That's coming up next over on ITV Encore.